Hello, and welcome to the Chinese Community Health Resource Center online tutorial video, Internet Browsing. The Internet is a single worldwide computer network where data archives and other information can be exchanged. To access the Internet, there are a variety of Internet browsers to use, such as Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Safari, and Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer is the default web browser for most PC computers. For demonstration purposes, we will be using Internet Explorer. An icon for this web browser should exist on your desktop computer screen or in the taskbar near the startup menu. If you are unable to find the icon, you can locate it among the list of programs in the startup menu by typing in the name of the browser or program in the search bar here. To begin browsing the internet, just double click on the icon. After doing so, the internet browser window will open. All internet browsers have six main components that make up their user interface at the top of the window. A search bar, a back button, a forward button, a refresh button, a web page bookmarker, and a multi-tab feature. The search bar is used for navigating to different websites by simply typing in the website address or URL. You can then type the title of the address and conclude the URL with closing code such as .com, depending on the type of address. There are many different types of addresses ending with different codes that indicate their purpose. For example, .com indicates commerce websites, .edu indicates academic affiliated websites, and .org indicates nonprofit organization websites. These are only a few examples. It's important to indicate these types of sites as some sites may require you to log in. You can also search for a website or any other piece of information through what are called search engines, or certain websites specifically meant to help you search the internet for a keyword to the website or topic you would like to research by offering links to other websites that are related to the keyword. Google, for example, is one of the leading search engines on the web. To navigate to the CCHRC homepage through a search engine, type www.google.com in the search bar above, then press enter. Then type Chinese Community Health Resource Center in the space provided here, and click Google search button here, or press the enter key. Then a web link will appear in blue text at the top of the page with a URL in green text below. Click on the link to visit the site. Otherwise, to visit the Chinese Community Health Resource Center website, type this address in the search bar www.cchrchealth.org and then click the Go button or press the Enter key. Most websites have a main page or home page with general information that will usually offer a menu of other pages that are part of the site and offer more specialized information. Feel free to explore these menus. There are many features on the site that will assist you in many ways, such as adjusting the text on the page for easy reading, at the top of the page, there is a feature to change the language of the site. The language options include Simplified Chinese, Traditional Chinese, and English. To change the language, simply left-click on any of these options. The CCHRC website also allows you to access these tutorial videos directly from the site. To do this, click on the Multimedia menu option and then select Online Computer Training Courses from the submenu options. Then you'll be brought to a page that lists the videos in the middle of the screen. To play any video, click the Play button here. The CCHRC homepage also offers useful information on certain health-related topics. To view this, click on the Health Info menu option above. Then click on the submenu option. Health Education Materials. You can also find the submenu option on the right side of the screen here. The CCHRC homepage also offers articles on health-related topics. To view them, search the title of the article at the top of the page. These health articles are also listed here in the middle of the page. There are Chinese as well as English PDF files of the articles offered here. Just left-click on the desired article on the site and indicate what language to view it in by selecting either English or Chinese. Then the article will appear in the window as a PDF file. To print any of these articles, click the printer icon in the lower menu panel. 
a print settings window will appear. Then click the print button in the lower right corner of the window. The CCHRC homepage also offers useful health calculators. They are available to measure different health indicators, including body mass index for adults, children, and teens, daily caloric intake calculators, pregnancy due date, target heart rate, and preventative smoking. For additional information concerning these indicators, please consult your physician. To access these health calculators, select Health Calculators and Tools from the main menu options here, and then select any desired calculator from the right column of the page. For the Adult BMI Calculator, select the Body Mass Index for Adults option from the right column. Then select either the English or Metric Systems here by left-clicking the circle next to the desired measuring system. Then type in your height and weight into the spaces provided and click Calculate. After doing so, there should appear a brief description of how BMI is calculated under the Calculate button. The BMI ranges for Asian American populations are slightly smaller than normal BMI ranges. Please refer to the second box for BMI ranges for Asian Americans. For the Children and Teens BMI calculator, select the Body Mass Index for Children from the right column. Choose either the English or Metric system, Indicate the gender of the child or teen by selecting the circle next to either boy or girl. Select the age of the child or teen by clicking the arrows next to the spaces indicating the year and month of age. Then type in the weight and height of the child or teen in the spaces provided and click Calculate. Much like the adult BMI, a brief description of how the BMI is calculated will appear here. The CCHRC homepage also offers healthful eating tools. They are there to help you analyze the nutritional value of the foods you eat and to offer detailed nutrient lists for the food items you can find at the store. To access these tools, click the Healthful Eating menu option above and select either Nutrient Analysis or Grocery Shopping from the list of tools in the right column here. Let's step through how to use the Grocery Shopping tool. First, click on the Grocery Shopping tab on the right column to use the tool. Then click on the image. A, a pop-up box will appear either in a separate window or as a new tab. In the pop-up box, each tab is a separate food group. Meat, protein, grains, vegetables, fruits, beverages, oil, condiments, prepared foods, and desserts and snacks. Click on the food group of your interest. A selection of food with each food group will appear. Click on the arrows to scroll up and down to find the food you are interested in. After clicking a single food item, a nutrient facts label will appear. If the item you selected is healthy choice, you will see only one nutrient facts label with the word recommended at the bottom. The middle box shows the nutrient information for your selected food item. The box on the right shows nutrition information for the substituted healthier choice. A recommended icon is at the lower right corner of the box. For links to additional resources for Asian Americans, you can find them here on the left side of the CCHRC homepage under where it says Helpful Links. Let's now go over the other user interface elements for web browsing. The back and forward buttons are used for quickly navigating to the previous and proceeding websites you have visited. To go to the previous page you visited, click on the arrow pointing to the left. After navigating to a previous page, you can navigate to the page you visited before by clicking the arrow pointing to the right. The refresh button is used to reload the web page. Sometimes updates are made to the page you are currently viewing, and by clicking this button, it allows you to view these updates. You can refresh a web page by clicking on the circular arrow here. The web page bookmarker allows you to quickly navigate to your favorite websites without having to remember the web addresses. To do this, navigate to your desired website and then click the Favorite menu option from the bottom of the window here, and then select Add to Favorites from the drop-down menu. To locate and access the websites you have bookmarked as your favorites, click the star icon at the right corner of the window here. This tool has three features that allow you to save web addresses, news feeds, and to view browsing history. Each section is organized in three separate tabs. The websites you have bookmarked as your favorite 
will appear here in the Favorites tab at the bottom of the list. However, not all web browsers have the same format for this option. If you are using Internet Explorer, the bookmarker icon is in the shape of a star and is located in the upper right corner of the window. For Mozilla Firefox, the bookmarker icon looks like this and is located at the top right corner of the window, while Safari, the bookmarker icon looks like this and is located to the left of the search bar here. All internet browsers have a multi-tab feature. Tabs allow you to have multiple web pages open at once. They are organized much like pages of a book. To use a tab, click on the area of the window here. Then navigate to the desired web page by typing it into the search bar above. To exit a tab, click on the X on the right side of the tab here. When you have decided to stop browsing, you can end your session and exit the internet browsing window by clicking the red X button in the upper right corner of the window here. That concludes the internet browsing tutorial brought to you by the Chinese Community Health Resource Center. Thanks for watching.